Hello everyone, I'm Rob Blair, host of Nightcap. Tonight's episode features the talents of Mary Kay Bergman. You know her from hearing her voices on South Park. Unfortunately, Mary Kay Bergman is no longer with us. But as you can see in the show, she was fun-loving, full of life, and very talented. This episode of Nightcap is dedicated to Mary Kay Bergman. Studio 148 at Chapman University. This is Nightcap with your host, Rob Blair. Tonight's co-host, Richard Botello. From the guest list from South Park, Mary Kay Bergman. And the rugged mountain man, Tom Burns. As well as the Nightcap freaks on the street. And now the man who has no pants, Rob Blair. I, I guess those are on loan. I have, I have pants on. Yeah, well. But the question is, do I have underwear on? <laughs> Doing it commando tonight. Love that. Just watch out for the zipper thing. Yikes. Is my zipper up? I always hate that. I always think, do I have a booger in my nose and is my zipper up before I get on, <laughs> on camera? That's always the worst thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Sam, our bartender. How you doing? <laughs> we have got... An incredible show tonight. We Sam. do, we do. Mary Kay from South Park is here. South Park, the biggest show on the world. Yeah. Well, I, I, I could call her Mrs. Bergman, but but we've met, and so I call her Mary Kay. We're All like right. this. I'm the one over here. All right. Um, what do you got for me tonight? Well, Rob, tonight I've got a drink called The Rocks. Ice, Sam. That's yeah. It. You know, ICE is uh, one of our newest sponsors, and they actually requested that I do a commercial because when someone asks for a drink on ICE, I know that they really want ICE. ICE. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was better than rehearsal. Yeah, it was. Oh, man. Thank you very much, <laughs> Sam. We appreciate it. So mm -hmm. ICE is the big sponsor for the show? It is, definitely. And we've got ICE right here. We do. We've got a great show for you tonight. In fact, our new co-host... We have a co-host every week, mm -hmm. a different one. Right. It's like the co-host du jour here on Nightcap. And he comes from Rhode Island. Rhode Island. The smallest state in the union. It is. Thank you for agreeing <laughs> with me. Okay. And uh, he even had his own TV show in really? Rhode Island. It ran statewide. Take a look at it. His name is Rich. Rich, go ahead. It's midnight with Richard Bozo. I give arachnophobia two and a half stars. Stop being an ass. That was funny. That was Woody. That was funny. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, do his movie review, you ass. <laughs> oh. Okay, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-host du jour, Rich Botello. How you doing, Rich? Hi, how are you? Fine. Happy so, to be here. Rhode Island. That's right. The place to be. Absolutely. Well, what? if you're one of three people in, uh, in the area, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your show was statewide? Statewide and parts of Massachusetts and Connecticut. Now, it's a small state, so... Yeah, that's it, why it branched out a little bit. Uh, oh, well, that's good. So parts of Massachusetts <laughs> yep. and... Connecticut. So you got noticed on the streets? Uh, occasionally, but, you know, many, many people would come up to me and say, hey, what, what show, they wouldn't even know what show I'm on. That was the problem. They would say, do it, I think I know you? Yeah, I mean, I expected people to come up to me and, you know, know me from midnight, but they said, hey, at I know you. At 1 a.m.? Yeah, well, well, they're like, hey, Your I know you. Your show was on? 1 a.m. At 1 a.m., well, but it was titled Midnight. Yeah, um, that was a problem. See, there are so many shows in the small state that they can't fit them all in at times that we really want. So I got stuck with 1 a.m., but it doesn't matter because people are up watching it at that hour either stoned or drunk anyway, so... Okay, you didn't get the memo, and I don't think Sam got the memo. We're not doing the tie thing anymore. Is that a good thing? Yeah. We're not doing... It, t take off, take off oh, the tie. Oh, okay. Put the microphone somewhere else. I got told... Well, we got letters here at Nightcap that I looked like I was at a funeral every time the show ran. So... We're hey, not going to do the tie thing No, I'm anymore. not complaining. Here, put it around your head. Put it around your put head. Put it around my yeah, head. You, you can be Richo, like Rambo. <laughs> well. And you went out on the streets to educate people on Rhode Island. You doing okay back there? Uh, no, I'm a little incompetent here. Hey, I think I got it. Okay. okay. You went out on the streets because, you know, in California, people don't think there's anywhere else to live. Oh, no, absolutely so not. So 
you educated them. That's right. I found out what people know or do not know about my little state, Rhode Island. It's Rich's little geography test. Take a look at this. Hello, viewers of Nightcap. This is Chris Kelly. He'll be helping us with some interviews today. That's right, Rich. Today we're going to be interviewing people about Rhode Island. It'll be pretty interesting to see what people know or do not know about the state where I am God. Is Los Angeles larger or smaller than Rhode Island? Oh, it's got to be smaller. In, sir, wait a minute. In population or in size? Island. Rhode Island. I think city of Los Angeles. I give that comment five stars. If you were to uh, have or own a football team in Rhode Island, what would you name the team? Yeah. Rhode Island? Uh, Seahorses. I don't know. What's in Rhode Island? The Rhode Island Reds. Bobcats. I'd have to give that comment 3.33 stars just for the effort. Rhode Island, a part of New York? Yeah, as far as I know, yeah. I'd have to give that comment one star. How do you spell Rhode Island? R-O-H-D. R-O-A-D-I-S-L-A-N-D. All right, I have to give that comment two stars. You did try, but many people think it is R-O-A-D. It's really R-H-O-D-E. I don't know why. I just come from the state. Now, in Rhode Island, would it be cold enough right now to have a hockey team outside? I don't think so. No? In Rhode Island? Probably. I don't, I don't think so. That is correct. It is not nearly cold enough to have a hockey team on the ice outside right now because no lakes are frozen over. Rhode Island is just a pointless state, don't you think? I'd have to give that comment zero stars. Four stars. We'll be right back with Mary Kay Bergman. Stay with us. Gap Sports Quencher, the drink for all athletes, not just good ones. And welcome back to Nightcap, everybody. Rich Botello here. <laughs> Boy, they love you. Thank you. Hey, I love you. I love you too. Oh, man. All right, we're going to send you outside because you did this thing on your show in Rhode Island. It's obviously cold there. Oh, it's, it's, it's incredibly cold. I mean, in California, you don't know what cold is. Let me tell you that. You do not know what cold is. I must educate you. Okay, <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Well, on our show, we would uh, normally, when it, when, it, when it was cold enough for things to freeze, we would have people sit on blocks of ice. Well, let's it go ahead. Do we have some people that are willing to do that? You go ahead and pick them out. I think I'll take these three right in front here. Yeah! Those are the freaks on the street. Okay, bye, you guys. Let's give them a hand. Could somebody shut the damn door? That'd be great, everybody. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right, our first guest, you have heard her on South Park. She is the voice of many of the characters. We are so glad to have her on and so appreciative. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Kay Bergman. Should I get a hug? Hey. Of course you get a hug. I mean, you get a hug. Should I get a hug. This is so cool. You like this? Yes. We have this a lot great. of fun here. I'm glad everybody could come. This is I great. know. Like a little party. So you, <laughs> you, you are, I feel like I'm sitting next. Do, do it's the, all right, Bobby. It's okay. Relax. All of you. This is a Christian university, I'll have you know. And you over there, you're underage. You shouldn't be serving drinks. My <laughs> favorite, my favorite character is... Let me okay, guess. Go ahead. I bet I know, because you're a turd, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. You're all turds. Yeah, I spit when I do it, so I have to be far away from you. <laughs> Just say, where's my head? Shelly. Just say, where's my hair? Are gear? you staring at my head gear? Yes! <laughs> I love it! Everyone always does. <laughs> What, She's a great How character. did you get the job? Oh, man. Well, it, like every other thing I've ever done in this industry is you audition, you know. And uh, actually, the callback was really weird because um, 
usually when you go on a callback, you've kind of got the feeling that maybe they liked you, but they want to change something. They want to tweak something. They want to do something a little different. So I was all prepared to go in and do the characters again. And uh, Matt was like, no, you, you, know, you really nailed it. You really gave us what we wanted. Now we just want to get to know you. You know, what kinds of things make you laugh? What do you think is funny? And they showed me the, the little pilot that they and had the, put the, together. The Christmas yes. thing. Yes. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Christmas thing? That was amazing. I, oh, it's Incredible. really funny. So yeah. what, what do you like uh, better doing? <laughs> I mean, is this your favorite? You've done voiceovers for a long time. 13 man. years. 13 years. Yeah. What other shows yeah. have you done? Oh, my gosh. I started with Captain Planet and the Planeteers. I played the evil Dr. Blight, who what? was a lot of fun. Um, I do a show now where I do four different characters. I do the voice of JJ, who's a jet plane. The show is called JJ the Jet Plane. Yeah, duh. Is, I, the, is that the, the, I the, think little kids, the little kid show with the plane? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's all computer. <laughs> Sorry, I, I watch Blue's and, uh, Clues and Yeah, all well, that. that's all right. That's cool. And I do Herky the Helicopter. And uh, Savannah, who's like the mother plane, sort of, kind of there. And uh, I do Revan Evan, too. He's cool. It's like a fire truck. So I get to do all these characters. I have the most fun job in the world, I'm telling you. Seriously. She just sits behind a microphone and makes hundreds and thousands Golly, of dollars. Golly, of course I do. And I do impressions, too, and all kinds of things, really. I don't think this is Kansas anymore. <laughs> my goodness. But is it, that's my job. I mean, that's really wild. Is it huh? difficult for you with the content of South Park? Because it, I haven't seen, no, I, I have not well, seen. I have not seen that much controversy <laughs> around uh, a show that, that crosses the yeah. envelope like this show well, does. Yeah, we, we kind of push the envelope a little. Just a tad, Just a little, especially in the movie. Oh, yes, I know. The movie was really out there. And um, actually, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, tomorrow night, we have the big Annie Awards celebration. And the animation. The animation was right, as Sifa puts on every year. And I was nominated alongside, get this, I'm not going to win, Rafe Fines. From, mini driver from, okay, from uh, Prince of Egypt. Prince of Egypt. Um, mini driver from Tarzan. Yes. Eli Marienthal from Iron Giant, who was the little kid who was adorable. I mean, there's no way I'm going to win. Suzanne Plachette from, from um, The Lion King. Okay, uh, you guys, South Park it's over amazing. all of those. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. It's really a pretty stiff competition. It I'm, may just, be, I'm just lucky to be nominated. It may be stiff competition, but I think you're going to get it because South Park. I like is, him. I'm taking you home. Can I go with the, can adorable? I go to the awards there? Well, you know, we could pull some strings and see what happens. Okay, do the headgear real quick. Yes, of course, I know. That's everybody's favorite character. He's really cool. We'll be back with Mary <laughs> Kay Bergman from South Park right after this. Stay with us about that. <laughs> Log on to NightcapTV.com and get to know Rob Blair. Hang out with the crew and watch live webcasts. Give it to me, baby! NightcapTV.com, Orange County's late night experience. Hey, welcome back. We're back! It is Nightcap with Mary Kay Bergman from South Park. And now, how many voices do you do on South Park? Well, in the movie, I did about 16 different voices. <laughs> but on, on the regular on show the with show, the regular oh, characters? Oh, boy. Well, I do all the mothers. I do Ms. Crabtree, the bus driver. I do Wendy. I do um, Do Ms. Crabtree. Oh, of course I can. What are you staring at? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I don't know if I can swear on the show. You can swear on this show. It's cable access. It's hey, cable. welcome here. Hey, good. OK. <laughs> well, and, and I'm so used to swearing now. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Especially with the movie, yeah. you guys oh, yeah. crossed some big we boundaries. Re we really did. What does your family think about we really all this? Did. Is, is well, our actually, mom and dad? <laughs> that's the funny part. My mother loves the show. She thinks it's adorable. My mom is a youth you minister know, and really loves funny. the show too. Really? Yes. Okay. I mean, everybody I know <laughs> loves this show. Well, it's it's very interesting that you say that because you know the 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 show crosses all kinds of lines. People I don't expect to like it come up and tell me how much they like the show. And it's like, really? So my, uh, you your, your parents are very so, proud yeah, of, yeah, of, of Hanky yeah. the Christmas food. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mr. Hanky's pretty fun. 
Did you He's do that voice? Funny. No, no. The guys, the guys. The guys did that, guys did that voice, yeah. Matt and Trey. <laughs> and and how's your relationship with him? They're amazing. Do you, do you guys have fun? They're amazing. I mean, we have we have our little parties, you know, with the show, and we're having our big Christmas party uh, in December, which we Ooh. do every year. And we that's have a surprise for you. Do you? Yes, uh -oh. we do. Instead of South Park, <laughs> we're doing a thing called South Cap. We put it together <laughs> just for you, Mary Kay. Oh, good. I want to see this. You're going to love I this. I want to see this. Take a look right Oh, there. good. <laughs> this show sucks. It's the best we can do. It's completely student run. Shut up, you chubby bitch. Hey, you guys. I'm Rob Blair. Shut up, pretty boy. Why don't you go put on some more makeup? You're looking shiny. Uh, uh, I'm Rob Blair. You know, he's right, Rob. You're melting under these lights. Well, you know what? You guys could go f yourselves because I'm the host. I'm Rob Blair. Makeup, I need powder. Here's your f***ing makeup, f hole. Oh my god! You killed Rich! You bastard! What the f***? Do we have a bunch of retards working on this f***ing show? Oh, I think you're being too hard on them, Rob. You know what, you, you bartender? You'll be pumping my gas in 20 years, so why don't you just shut the f*** up, bitch? I'm sick of you inbreds. I'll be in my trailer. What do you think? <laughs> well, I have to say, I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> Even for turds, you know. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with Freaks on the Street. Stay with us on Nightcap. Newsweek calls the adventures of the man with no pants a daring and compassionate tale of a man struggling to find his trousers in a fast-paced society. The best new TV drama, says Entertainment Weekly, Chip Leghorn is brilliant in his portrayal of a man who does not have pants. Gary Stallworth of the New York Daily News calls the show stimulating and revealing. Forget emergency rooms and police dramas, says Rolling Stone. What America really wants to see is a man that has no pants. The Adventures of the Man with No Pants. You don't have to take off your pants to enjoy it. Check in on the freaks yes, on ice. Yes, you know what I? You know what I'm trying to call them now? The dumbasses with numbasses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and check in with the dumbasses with numbasses. Rich is out there. Rich, I can hear you. Hi, how are you? Hi. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and try and do the interview thing. How are they doing? Oh, they're, they're, I mean, let's let's just see what kind of medical bills Nightcap is going to have to pay for. Okay. I I'm not that cold. It's just numbness in the yeah. In in but the. I'm I'm not that cold. You can say butt. Of my butt. Your numb butt. <laughs> and, and Christine, how are you doing? I've got a touch of frostbite, Rob. Oh, I'm sorry to hear I'm that. I'm a little nippy out here. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're a little nipply out. I mean, nippy out. That's nippy. great. Oh, okay. Nippy. Hey, Amy. Yeah. Amy, are, are you getting yeah. the tingling feeling? I, I'm getting that tingling feeling. Yeah. All right, we'll talk after the show about that, okay, baby? All right. And an audience member. Why the hell did you decide to do this? That's what I want to know. Uh, I think it's called friendship. <laughs> no, that's, that's, you're a great Aww. friend, and thank you for sitting on ice, you guys. We're going to want to see your butt prints later on while you sit there, because 98.6 degrees actually melts 32 degrees. You know, really? ice at 32 degrees. Did you not know you that? Very smart. Well, you know, I try. I'm college educated. <laughs> Our next guest is Tom Burns. He's from the Mountain Men Organization. Please welcome Mr. Tom Burns. Thank you. Glad to be here. You're part of Mountain Men. Yes. The organization. And uh, it seems like this is sort of the city slickers type of organization where men are, you know, trying to find their inner masculinity. Is that is that proper? Well, there's there's women out there too, and we just uh, what nice do you to do? Have them out there. Um, we recreate the fur trade period of 1820 to 1840. 
You got lots of fur on you. Yes. That's incredible. What kind of fur is this? Otter. Otter? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a badger. Oh. oh my gosh, it's still got the eyes in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, I guess you're probably not one of those people that the fur industry, or the, the anti-fur people like. No. Um, <laughs> I, I do some teaching in the public schools and I run into a lot of school teachers that kind of look down on this, but I tell them, you've got to look at the time period and that's, that's sure. how they lived. That's how they lived and in fact, didn't they eat the burgers from Every otter? <laughs> you know, otter burgers, otter burgers, burgers yeah. and possum burgers <laughs> yep. and all that good stuff. Anything and everything. I think that's what the, uh, the fur industry really has a problem with. You know, if they were eating mink burgers all the time, <laughs> then people wouldn't have a problem with it because it seems like they don't have problems with cows. And that's leather. It. And leather. leather. Sure. Exactly. Chickens. I mean, I'm everything. Leather. Yeah. You've got your musket here. Yes. This, this is a rifle. Uh huh. It's 54 caliber. It's, um, it's what they call a, a curly maple stock. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you see the tiger striping on that, uh -huh. on the wood? Yeah, it's a special wood. This is uh, made by a gunsmith in Las Vegas. So if somebody wants to go on this tour with you, you guys recreate rendezvous. the rendezvous, how can they do that? Just give me a call. <laughs> what is your number? 997-1517. Okay, so you are Orange. here in Orange County. Yes. 714-997-1517. Okay, and we will be right back with you. In fact, you know how to light fires <laughs> in a natural way, correct? Yes. So we're going to, you know, that's great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, John. We appreciate that. Um, we're going to get uh, you to light a fire under okay, Christine glad to do and it. Amy's <laughs> Botoxes and get them warmed up. And we can't wait to see those butt prints. Can you wait? I can't wait. I know you can. <laughs> we're going to send them out next. We'll be right back here on that job. Somewhere deep in the jungles of Asia, a secret agent on a mission. The only man that can stop him is a woman. Ito Steel. Introducing Lonnie Thunderfoot Jones. Heart of a lion, strength of a bull, fists of steel. In this jungle, there is no law. And you were looking at a shot of Rich, the co-host du jour, along with Tom Burns and Christine and Amy and one of our audience members shivering in the cold. Rich, how's it going out there? Well, they're, they're pretty damn cold, I'll tell you that much. Hey, that's, <laughs> you've crystallized my thoughts eloquently. Can we uh, look at some butt prints? Would that be okay? Well, let's see if there are any. Amy, want to see the butt prints? I can't see, I can't see them. My jeans. You can see the marks of my jeans. Oh, let me see the marks. Let me see your butt. Oh, you can see it on my butt. Oh, look at it. Hey, hey, Christine, how are you doing? Um, you can't really see my butt, but I've got ice in my chest. Can, can you get a shot of that? <laughs> it, it's cold. It doesn't feel good, though. Yeah. I feel like I'm watching. I feel like I'm watching a remake what? of Nine and a Half Weeks. Okay, what I want you guys to do is, uh, is, is Tom gonna make the fire? Is that what he's doing right now? That's right, that's right, Rob. Well, can we get a shot of him? Tom, what are you doing? I just struck the uh, flint and steel together, and on his cloth, I've got it glowing now, and I'm gonna put it in here, and we're gonna have fire in just a minute. What, are you gonna put it in their butts, or what are you, what are you gonna it's do? It's like moss. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Okay, Amy. Oh, wow. Okay. Put it. Okay, there we go. Here. Amy, why don't you sit on it? <laughs> sit on it. Amy, sit on it. <laughs> Amy, no, it's on fire. 
You tell him. Yay! Oh, that was incredible. Thank you, audience member. You know, that would be really funny if you got burned, how he would explain to the, to the, to, to the emergency room. I sat on a bunch of fire. Yeah. That would be lawsuit After number sitting two. on ice. That would, yes, we've already dealt with lawsuit number one. OK, you guys, you ready to come back in? Come back on in. Run in. Are we? All right, guys, let's go. I think there seems to be a delay going on. OK, they're running through. Help me, Mary coming Kay. Back in. They're coming back in. Yep. I see butt now, sickles. Who sat there the longest? I don't what? know who sat there the longest. Do we know yet? We're, we're going to find that out pretty soon. Oh, good. I'm excited. Are you excited? <laughs> I bet it was the audience member. I think so. Does, does, does Christine still have the ice brave. in her? Here they bosom? come. Here they come. Yes. Oh, look at that. Christine, are your breasts okay? <laughs> I never thought I would ask that question to you, but Amy, is your butt okay? <laughs> Amy, I have to tell you that you're cold, and I can tell in a couple more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. It looks like two eraser pencils. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Kay, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. You're dealing with this all the time with Ben Trey. Oh, yeah. Bad as they are. Yeah, I know. I'm Tom, thank it. you for being here. We appreciate it. And let's give it up. For the freaks on the street. Yeah. The freaks on the God bless and thanks for watching Nightcap. We appreciate it. <laughs> oh. Thank you.